Hi guys, my name is Amrit. So basically I want to talk about uh, the few issues which are going on in India. So uh, it was like just few months back if you remember like uh, Supreme Court wiped out live-in relationship uh, cases and it said like it's uh, it's not illegal to have a live-in relationship which was being uh, appraised and by many people in society like they said like it's very good and it's a better social reform. So in the urge or moving in the same path Supreme Court has gone a bit ahead and they are now uh, have removed recently the LGBT Communities Act and uh, now it's not illegal to have a partner of same sex so that law is also been uh, demolished yeah demolished right so it's been crapped out and it's been thrown in dustbin so now the recent one is uh, adultery so now Supreme Court has said like a person who is married and if he goes ahead with another partner it's not a crime so I want uh, to discuss all these three things all together and uh, I want to understand from your view point like what are your thoughts what do you think you can just write down in the comment section down and we can discuss and we can see like how this changes are going to uh, help our India grow or make our nation proud so the first thing which I want to talk about is uh, okay let's start the topic with feminist in, in India because these topics came these three things are so kind of related to being feminist in India so uh, when it comes to feminist in India like you, you would have uh, read or you would have heard or you would have seen in front of your eyes like many people uh, or many uh, persons who claim to helping women or who run those organizations the owners are men <laughs> so yeah th this is how it works out right maybe the funders or somewhere like the, the face may be of a lady but uh, the behind picture is always men so these people who run these feminist shows are the one who abuses most of these female uh, persons so what happens like why this feminist came to picture like we somewhat like somewhere we say like we both are uh, the same people of different sides of coin and uh, the later on we say no this is a, a gender you should respect about like woman has been seen as a Devi or a Mata or a person of higher authority and then we somewhere we like push uh, men to a degraded value so I want to understand from your perspective like what, what do you think like what do you people think or wha what uh, is your perspective about this because uh, there are many women who really oppose dowry in the marriage of their son or daughter so uh, do you know about the woman like who actually does that because th this, this happens like even the wives of men who are very sensitive like I have seen uh, their uh, the better half right so they go ahead and they scold or they abuse them so there are many cases where men are being tortured and uh, they are being taken advantage of so it's not uh, the case of being a weaker section or it's not the case of being a weaker person altogether so it depends person to person it should not be concentrated on being on a gender biased or saying no this we have to be pro-feminist and go through. the reason why I'm talking about being pro-feminist because this all started few years back the increase of feminist liberals in our country where there are so many feminists like people were trying or dying hard to prove themselves yes we are the one we are the feminist people we care for women and if you see the previous stats you just go on google and read the day this term feminist has arrived or the day number of feminist people supporting feminists have increased the number of rape cases and abuses have also increased in a same way so it's actually it should have been decreased but it has been inconsistent or it's been increasing trend so you have to understand this is nothing to do with being feminist this uh, in India like as a culture as a society we always had a upper value for our ladies so now I, I'll give you an example like you would have seen or you would have noticed like there will be a lady coming to your home to do the cleaning job right so there are many ladies who do the same uh, job like we men or 
your uh, partner or the ladies in the house do the same job right but why the woman who comes to the home who cleans your house is been considered as a degraded person again so this is how things goes wrong or this is how the thought process goes wrong thinking like this is a weaker person or this is the mentality so this mentality has to be changed so this uh, is what we have to look into it and we have to understand so when this feminist thing has started then we had a serious issue where uh, police used to catch couples in hotels so they were totally against it so we know about many of the squads being set up so you are not allowed for uh, going into public areas or you are not allowed to kiss in public areas yeah you are right so you can go and piss in a public area but you cannot kiss in a public area so there are many things which goes wrong with the society but uh, it's not to be misused when we go liberal it's more to be used in a profitable way which helps society to grow so uh, i want to give you one more example over here like uh, you you would have seen many ladies in your life or there would be many people in your life you would have seen working more than a man right so uh, there will be a lady who go, who works so she wakes up in the morning she goes to uh, she cooks she goes to office comes back cooks take care of the kid so there are many things which happens in life and the women are proven to be a stronger person altogether so it's not the same case where men are the only bread earners and women are the only person taking care of the home it's now or it has completely changed the perspective not 100% but yes 50 to 70% of the household is going in that way so i'm not talking about everyone working into an id company or has a job no there are many like i told you the example of the a lady coming in your house for the cleaning perspective so it's the same way this has been done for the few last years or few or it's it's been a decade now like we have seen many women who have been taken out the same responsibility so the, the main point where uh, why i have raised is like both men and uh, women must respect each other and love each other because they they must complement so we should not give uh, importance to one gender Uh, based on the religious terms calling her devi and other things so they can utilize those things and then misuse those things to torture uh, another gender saying no this person must have done wrong because he is a male so we have to understand both the perspective so now coming back to live in relationships so uh, uh i i'm not sure like what is your point of view but uh, as per my point of view live in relationships are good enough only when it's been utilized in a way where uh, it's not uh, hurting anyone's feeling so there are uh, people who have made you grown till 20 years of your age and you are still eating their food so there are few things which is sentimental and emotional involved to it so let's say your father ask you not to do something and as a kid like you feel like doing it so he may would have asked you not to eat that chocolate and you would be like but you were doing it because you wanted to do it so uh, this happens this happens with everyone so ma- many uh, parents don't want their kids to go for a live in relationship because they know the side effects because these are the things which comes from west so they don't don't want them to commit uh, to a emotional breakdown or the, the the parents don't see 90% parents don't want their kids to damage themselves emotionally or in any means they want their till the time they are there on planet earth living their uh, life span they want their kids to be happy and smiling that's the only one reason your parents don't want to follow you for live in relationships because they think it may be wrong or uh, it may be not good for you because that person will leave you in a emotional breakdown so because uh, see whenever you fall in maybe a man or a woman whenever you fall into a relationship where you, you people are so close like you spend more time together and one person finds out uh, another partner and leaves out so the other person who was more involved gets a emotional breakdown and it's not uh, easy for him, that person to come over it to it 
so this is what happens so this is the only reason it was banned now the supreme court has come up and they have actually cleared it because there were many victims were coming up and it was been applauded like it was been taken and said like okay good good step go ahead so when these things are happening in our culture like we should understand like our justice system needs to uh, also understand like this were the base of our cultural society so the dignity of our society of our culture of our civilization was based on purely on human behavior it's not like uh, what kind of job you do what kind of business you do the basic uh, nature of a culture or a diversity is like where it is based what are the roots of that culture so if we are going to follow west completely we are going to break those roots for sure it may not be a law uh, that needs to decide this it may be our emotional intent to do things right or wrong but you have to understand why i brought this feminist part as well see a woman prays for a their man right so india is a country which is so much religion based there is a uh, hundreds or there are many things in many languages and in many regions differently but it's all there so a woman prays for their husband and uh, she takes a full day fast for his long life and uh, a girl who is not married she keeps a fast to get a good husband so when these are the things been done in a society there is a 100% need to make sure that girls uh, things are in place so if she marries a man after doing uh, or after taking care of him after doing all the things for him and uh, emotionally getting attached and then he cheats on her so that's that's the adultery law, law rights this is a section which uh, this new uh, the court judges has been demolished or been break down so these are the things which has to be be there because uh, we know like uh, men have been cheating so i know you people will be saying like yes we cannot go ahead and stop who wants to cheat yes they they can go ahead and cheat but uh, there should be an obligation when a person is been uh, into a relationship with you and been involved for so long and been done things for you so there should be an obligation as well so because there's no point right if if these things are uh, allowed then i don't think there's a, a requirement for marriage as well like let people stay how uh, it happens let them stay together why you need a marriage certificate then if you can go and sleep with anyone or you can be with anyone you go you can do all the things which is required or which you feel good about it and you can continue doing that it's not required for you to get married itself so there's no in, there should not be any involvement and uh, the this society is been bought up by few boundaries this is how uh, the societies have worked properly because uh, if you don't put a rule if you don't put a barricade there are things which will go out of it so we need to understand in this uh, speed in this rush speed of social change we have seen now already we have seen the zigolos coming up so there's no much future because already we have seen the world has already gone in a very fast phase so we need to uh, understand like uh, we don't want our men to go ahead and sit in some dance bars wearing gungudus again this many f- feminist people will not like this remark but this is how it is so we need to understand because uh, we need to maintain the uh, the limit of the relationships we need to make sure like all the relationships are maintained within the limits and no one has the right to decide what will be the limit it ha- it is all upon you you have to decide you have to make sure when the country is changing it's changing towards better it's not degrading back so make sure uh, because the reason i brought up these topics is because many people are still fighting on hindus muslims and other things but these topics are the one which are need to be addressed first so make sure like you listen to these things you read about it comment down and let me know what you think about it thank you jai hind